Welcome to The Love Couch. I'm Carmelia Ray, celebrity matchmaker and online dating expert and your host here on The Love Couch. Joining me today is dating coach extraordinaire and my friend, Hunt. Hi. Hi, hon. It's so good to be here. You know, I, I always love being around you. We have so much fun. I know. And you flew from New York to Toronto to spend a weekend with me. Absolutely. Because it's just fun to talk shop. It know? is fun to talk shop. And on that note, you know, you exercise some of your dating tips and skills on two single men yesterday <laughs> that were like singing your praises. What the heck did you say to these guys? Well, one of the things I try to work on is building chemistry or, or creating positive emotional drama, basically. And what that means is that too often we just sit and we talk to each other logically. What was your day? How are you? Where are you from? You know, if it's on a date, like, what do you do? Have you been divorced? So back up a little bit. Positive emotional drama? Yes. That seems like an irony. Okay. Tell me about what that so means. So basically, um, many of the relationships I die with a whimper, not with a bang, in that they get predictable. They lose the excitement, the dynamism. And that's understandable over a period of time of a relationship. Right. But you want to make sure that you still inject it with some positive drama. An example of that would be... Yes, my, I'm a, like, example, please. <laughs> my wife and I belong to a community garden. Okay. And it was about 12 blocks away from us when we were leaving the house. And I saw that she forgot the key. Now, I could have said, hey, baby, you forgot the key, which would have been logical, created no emotion. Instead, I just took the key and put it in my pocket and didn't say anything. Okay. And we walked 10 to 12 blocks, and we get there, and she goes, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. And, of course, what do I do? Yeah, oh! honey, yay, yay. So you're so, the hero. So a hero found scenario. a way. Or, for instance, if they text you, you're coming over, you know, boyfriend, date, whatever. Hey, pick up a bottle of wine on your way over. Normally you text back this time, you just don't text back. They go, is it, did he get it? Is he gonna get it? Did he pick it up? Should I text him again? Knock, 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 oh, he brought the wine. Or you just decide to bring vodka and cranberry. You're like, because why not? So it's like, oh, okay, okay why not? I see that, So you're trying to bring, go ahead. There's a little bit of game playing in there, but the, as long as the outcome is received positively, is That's that basically, it's trying to, trying to give somebody uh, a positive, Unexpected surprise, basically. Okay. So, so it's like an intentional, an intentional kind of game playing, but so long as the outcome is positive. Yeah, you never want to try to manipulate someone or make them feel bad. It's just trying to find examples to keep a little bit of that unexpectedness, a little bit of that newness, and things that over time mm -hmm. can be more difficult to uh, to do naturally. Well, Hunt, one of the things, uh, apart from the fact that you are natural at helping people find love, you take people in the field. Mm -hmm. In other words, you have a service where people hire you to actually go to an event and you teach them whatever it is that you teach them. Can you tell our audience what that service is about and, and what they're gonna get out of that? Sure, sure, I call it on-site coaching. And basically, what I wanna do is take you out to practice. I consider it being like a personal trainer for your dating life. Most of us know how to use the machines in a gym, but not the best of the ability. And sometimes if you're just using it wrong, it's hurting you instead of helping you. So my job is to just, in real time, be able to do a couple of tweaks here and there, show examples, because of course, I have to be an example as well too. Like, watch, I'm gonna go talk to this person, I'm gonna say one or two sentences, say right. goodbye, try to create emotion very, very quickly, and then withdraw. So we would go to networking events and start talking to people and, and, and getting those skill sets, because it is a skill set, and basically you want to bang out the reps. You want to get out, talk to people, you know, mix it up. It is so true because people often discount or take for granted that dating is a skill. It requires a certain set of skills, a certain amount of confidence. And a certain amount of practice. Uh, exactly. So Hunt, how does one reach for you if they want to grab what all this expertise in your brain and apply it? So to you can find me at my website, Hunt for Advice, or as Carmelia has started an Instagram page for me, it will be yes. at, at Hunt, for, Hunt for Advice. It will be Hunt for Advice. We're la launching live in 2019. We will see you next time on The Love Couch. Thanks, Hunt, for being here.